Hello everybody, I'm Amar Central and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2 Bus Simulator Today. Where today you join me, um, we're going to be doing something that I did promise. Um, we're having a little break from London itself and we're going to be taking a little look at the London vehicles and how they perform on other maps. So here we are um, in this map. This is Gainsborough, based on the real life um, area of Gainsborough, although the routes are slightly different, speaking as somebody that has visited the place. And we're going to be driving this vehicle, the C200, the 10.8 metre, the one I've been gone on about that I absolutely adore. We're going to be driving this on Route 2, thanks to when I load up the bus, that it should hopefully work. There we go. Switch off the hazards, because I have already loaded it up. Thanks to these displays that have been made for the map. So hopefully they load in and work. Although to be fair, I have just remembered that I've got to do it this way, haven't I? I can't just do it that way. One, there we go. Two, two, done. There we go. And they hopefully should work now. So we'll move round to stand. So there is going to be a little bit of echo in this video as well as I'm still sorting out the headphones as it appears the headphones and, oh, and when I have the headphones in OBS does not pick up any game sound at all that I find very weird but hey oh look at that that looks stunning so although in real life I've never seen an E200 covering the number two no not the radars so I'm going to put the arrows on as it has been a while since I've driven this route itself. Oh, no, don't cut that. I just did not want to hit the bush shelter. So yeah, I remember when I went to Gainsborough, I stored just here. Photographed a few tridents leaving. This route that we're driving now, the number two, was using an MX-53 trident at the time. And then an MX-53 on the 10... Was it 106? 106, I think. 106 or 107. Um, I think the, Link the Lincoln, but not direct Lincoln routes, as the Lincoln direct route is route 100 around here. So yes, we're going this way, aren't we? Oh, oh my goodness me. That's a bit weird. Okay. <laughs> Um, on a perfectly running PC to have any performance problem is worrying to say how... There we go. You apologise about that. I do not know why that did that. can only assume the PC was having a little bit of a break. Uh, although, to be fair, I have just loaded up the map and driven in. Although, I can do that with London. There's not a problem. Let's hope that was our own little hiccup, shall we? Because this map should perform perfectly, as it usually does. So I do want to get a nice, decent screenshot, even though the sun is in the total wrong direction. And there's a lamppost in that shot. So what we'll do is we will shut these doors and... I'm going to take that as a screenshot, just in case we don't get another one. So on Gainsborough itself, this map, as long as well as the repaint and the destination blinds, are available to download on the Fellow Films forums. They will be linked in the description below, as usual. So if you check out the bottom of the description, all the links to everything you need to recreate the run that I'm driving now will be available there. So, as well as that, um, as a reminder, the vehicle itself is part of the Payware Add-on London um, game that is available on Steam, although it does require Omzi 2 itself to run. That must be emphasised as it is a little bit more than the actual base game price. So it's quite nice to have a little drive of this bus outside of sort of the central London setting as the E200 itself is quite a common type of vehicle throughout the UK now. Um, pretty much you can go to any corner of the UK and there will be an E200 there, or there will have been at some point. So I know that we are expecting the regional variant that will hopefully provide us with um, LED destination blinds and the single door variant in due course, so that will be quite nice. 
Although for now, I think having the game for blinds and this stage coach repaint will do quite nicely. So one thing I am going to do next year, um, due to the fact that it, I've worked out how to get to Gainsborough by bus, ticket-wise, because it's one thing having a route that goes to Gainsborough, and it's a very different thing. Um, oh, screenshot opportunity. There we go. Because I think the sun's in the right spot as well. That's why I got quite excited. One, two, three. There we go. And I'm just going to pop the root ever on for a little section just to make sure I go that way. I thought I did. Um, but it's one thing having knowing the routes to get to the place, i.e. from Doncaster, the 98 serves um, Gainsborough and the 99 serves Retford, that's quite nearby. Um, but it's a totally different thing actually understanding um, what tickets can get you there, as if you don't understand the ticketing system of what can get you there, um, it, things can become quite expensive endeavours quite quickly. So it has been a while since I've driven this, I am slightly apprehensive about taking the root arrows off, as I did forget how long it has been. No, we definitely go up here. Well, judging by the fact that there's a bus coming towards us, we definitely do. So that's in the Lincolnshire Road car livery, um, the company that was owned by of a branch of Traction Group that were taken over by Stagecoach UK in 2005. They took over Yorkshire Traction itself, Yorkshire Terrier um, road car that was... Lincolnshire Road Car was probably the biggest of all the empires. I mean, Yorkshire Traction was big, but Lincolnshire Road Car was absolutely huge. So let me just... I am just going to bob the route I was on, I think, for a little bit, just, just so I don't get lost. Because my memory isn't the best around this end of the route, because it has been a while since I've driven on it. And it's the first time driving it on this new setup that makes it even more concerning where we had a little bit of a bouncy bus when we set off on Gamesborough that I really do not know why. Because you've all seen how London performs. So it's a bit bit confusing, is that? So with this map, what we'll be doing is we'll literally just drive round. I'm not acknowledging the timing points as I do that when I'm driving on my own and usually I get to the park spring side of the route and have about five minutes to kill. So I won't be acknowledging the punctuality side of it today. We're just driving the route round. Does seem to perform quite well, does this boss? I mean, there are a few people that have mentioned a few criticisms of this. I, at the moment, do not drive it in the rain um, because. Oh, oh well, there we go. Let's just see if we can get another. I'm going. I'm only going to go for one more screenshot. I think. Oh, I could get the lamp post in on that one. Um, da, da, da. There we go. But yeah, it's a very, and don't drive this in the rain, as one of the problems with this so far is um, when it rains and it rains on the front screen, the wipers do not clear away the rain. So I'm glad I learned that before I attempted a video of it. And as well as that, you've got the flickering dash that hopefully will be a 30 second fix um, for the bus, because it's just been formatted and layered a bit incorrectly. Uh, but that's not the end of the world. It's just quite nice. So for me, it's just quite nice to have this E200 to be able to drive it around. As I know, we've had the we had the Hong Kong um, E200, and that was G, that was a GX776 on the Studio One. I remember when that came out, we all hyped that because I think the first repaint for that as well um, was a Stagecoach livery. So yeah, this one's first non-London repainted stagecoach. So that was a stagecoach liver was the first repaint of that one. Oh, the long gears in this sound nice. Um, so we had that. We then had um, the Lowland the 21 Studios E200 project. So it unfortunately never got finished. I'm just going to make sure that the sound audio is picking up very well. Yes, it is. So that's good. I'm going to tune me up ever so slightly. 
so that hopefully hopefully you guys aren't hearing too much of an echo because I've turned my game volume down quite a lot so hopefully it's just picking up the inbuilt audio rather than the echo so but I do have to listen to it a little bit so until I've got the headphones sorted there's going to be a tiny tiny bit of echo although it shouldn't be major but yeah then there was the London 21 Studios E200 that was built although unfortunately due to quite a number of problems with it um, it was never released I believe there was a few modeling and scripting issues with it that were never rectified so for those of you who haven't been in the Omsi world that long, um, that was an individual who brought us the Left Path um, Man A21. Um, I think he brought us the Sitara as well. Um, and the Dennis Da, he basically converted a Hong Kong style Dennis Dart for use um, on UK maps, although it was quite controversial at the time because the payware, um, the Dennis Dart from GX7767 Studios was payware and a number of people um, had re-uploaded it to a private server. It was part of the part of the fiasco usually involved with um, Hong Kong buses, unfortunately, as we've all known in the past. Whereas I've recorded videos of them before, it then happened to be that the bus itself was either leaked by the person who made it or somebody else, in the same way that that B7 Avali was the same case of that. Um, and it just makes it quite difficult because when people obviously comment and go, oh yeah, yeah, this, this bus was leaked by Sansa Sansa, then you look and you're like, oh, Sansa Sansa made the bus. So it was like with that B7R relief, for example, um, that was what happened with that is the person gave it out to beta for a few people to beta test. And basically what happened is is I am waiting until you go actually why is why are the frames so bad between tiles? That's really worrying, is it actually? Uh, don't do not know why that's the case. I, I might have to change the settings and how I load it games, but out of all the maps I thought I'd have a problem with, this was not the one. I can't come run London. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the controversy around that, where basically they'll give it to a beta tester and then one of the beta testers will end up re-uploading it or, loading, or sharing it with their friends for private server. And we think it's quite a big thing in the UK side, but in the HK world, it is a lot bigger. There is a much bigger industry of that because because bus spotting over in sort of Hong Kong is huge. I don't know if any of you have ever seen like photos and things from their farewell events that they're sort of... Um, hot dogs as they call them, the Dennis Dragons. Um, but like thousands of people would attend these events. I mean, they have incidences where bus enthusiasts steal buses, hijack them. I mean, the bus spotting world in Hong Kong is huge. So it, stuff like that is going to happen a lot more. But at the end of the day, it was like with the RLE, um, it was released by the creator, the actual base creator of the bus released it on an earlier variant that one did want to release. But the harsh reality with a lot of the buses that they make over there is the fact that that's probably going to be the final release of that map we actually see. Um, it's not nothing against how they work. However, the problem is, is it's like having been in this world for quite a while, um, I've come to realise that there's very, very few studios that actually wait until a final release to release it, and most things only ever get released on a beta stage. So, it's like a few of the other stuff, it's like the Volgra, for example. Oh, didn't mean to pop the horn. Um, it's like the Volgra, I've driven that before. And it's a lovely bus to drive, and I'll probably drive it in a future video because everybody else seems to drive it. But the problem is, is the... The server that it was on was taken down and it was linked to the creator and it, it's all this horrible business where these buses are superb to drive and I want to show them to you all. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like I, I have to turn around and be quite mean and go, I can't provide the download link because it's, it's in this Catch-22 scenario where if I put that on, I will be as bad as everybody else. But then the base thing of it, the creator did release it initially, but have sort of retracted that. So it's uh, it's quite annoying, really. 
So yes, in other OMS in news, I will move on to a few other stuff that I know that I can sort of tell you at the moment. Um, going on to sort of regional um, UK and London based things. So there is an update for London coming out um, this... Oh, thank you, fan, for pulling into my lane. Um, that is coming out this weekend. Um, it should be on its way when this video goes live. Um, there's a lot of fixes involved. I believe they're working on AI variants of the base buses in the game. They will hopefully let a lot of people be able to drive the map as well as having the AI traffic on to add to that level of realism. So that should be quite good in the long run, should that. So I'm hoping that that is all that it promises to be. Um, obviously, we'll have to wait and see um, when it happens. But it should be quite nice. Love how nobody's got off, so there's basically going to be people doing an entire round there. One thing I am looking forward to is actually going up to Gainsborough and going on this route. That is something I'm going to do next year, is I'm actually going to take a spin on Route 2. Um, probably do some filming around it, so expect some filming to be done. Um, but I will be doing a, an actual trip on Route 1s and 2s, whichever one is running. Because I know that at the moment with what's going on, they're, they're running them in a, in a strange fashion. But... I'm planning to do that in the new year at some point, when able to. So I also want to do Scumfort. I want to do some of the routes in Scumfort, but to do that I do need to have a drive of them again. So expect a video of them coming out at some point soon. Just need somebody to make the destination blinds for this bus um, for them as well. So yeah, I just love how nobody's got off. <laughs> There's people that jumped on in games were just like, you know what, I'm just going to go for a round trip round the random hills and estate and back. To be fair, that's be what I will do when I go up to Gainsborough. <laughs> That'll be the excuse that I've got. Yeah, as I said, do apologise about the slight echo that you're going to be suffering um, in this video. I try to drown it out as much as I physically can by turning the volume down on my side to like an all-time minimum. But at the end of the day, I do actually need to hear the game a little bit, just in case, for whatever reason, any daft things like a random alarm or something came in on the bus. Because I don't want you guys listening to that for 20 minutes and me just talking over it like it's not happening. So it is a superb bus. I absolutely love the gearbox on it and I love the sounds on it. And I'm looking forward to maybe this weekend, maybe in the future, the, the shorter variant is released um, alongside the regional stuff. That will I'm hoping I'm hoping to take advantage of the fact that the C four hundred R needs fixing. So hopefully um, both things will work hand in hand and as the C four hundred R is released, C two hundred R will be released. But hopefully the C four hundred R will require the um, the C two hundred, should I say will require the London add-on, as I don't want them to not include that, as obviously you need incentives to buy it, and it, it's only fair, it's, it's worked on this bus primarily. Oh, goodness, brakes not working. Uh, okay, that was interesting. Pressing the brakes and nothing happened. Um, but having worked on this bus primarily for the release of the map, it's only fair that the regional variant would require this version um, because obviously it was like the C400 that I was to tire everybody off it was a, a, a new release basically to show everybody what the map buses are going to be like a few years before they were released but now that the map buses are released any regional variants should really require um, the base model if they can so yeah as I said <laughs> just realised there were bumps like that, the echo's probably quite loud. So, I, I do promise you the volume is quite low on and quite low on my side, I can barely hear the game. But, it is getting louder for some bizarre reason. I'll tune it down a bit. Well, I do need to hear it ever so slightly at the end of the day. This is probably the busiest Route 2 bus I've ever had. Ever. Right, this is quite strange. So 
So yeah, I will be sorting, as I said, we'll sort the headphones out um, in due course. It's just, as I said, try to load them in this morning and I could hear the game sound, but OBS couldn't. So uh, there's some formatting I've got to do. Don't know how, don't ask me how it's going to work, but there's some formatting, formatting that needs to be done. Because the problem is as well as I would just mute my volume from time to time so you can actually hear it so you don't hear an echo, but then when I mute that, OBS doesn't pick it up either. So once again, as expected, OBS is throwing a bit of a tantrum. So yeah, I never mentioned the other Adam London stuff, or not Adam London, the other Omni 2 releases stuff. Um, one thing that is probably an exclusive bit of news to this channel, all very exciting. If you've watched to this point in the video, then well done, this is your little reward for listening um, to me drawn on this long. Um, but who remembers Omni 2 classic London buses? I do. Remember the DMS that we drove? Uh, the beta stage that was to be released. I do remember driving it. Um, I am in close contact with the um, creator of the vehicles involved in the Classic Buses scheme. And although they took a break from um, working on OMSI 2 while London was delayed to work on some train simulator projects, they are now back in the OMSI 2 working stream. Um, obviously got a few things um, to sort out, but on the main front of things, we have some OMSI 2 classic London buses to look forward to in due course. Um, one of these is going to be the AC Swift. All of these, I'm not mentioning them as in, um, I've just been told them exclusively. You can head over to the OMSI 2 classic London buses page, that I believe still up, and you can have a little look at these vehicles. Um, so yeah, Basically, the AEC Swift is on its way very, very soon. There's also going to be a big, big Rootmaster pack, AEC Iron Rootmasters. Um, they're going to be on their way very, very soon too. So we are expecting... Oh my goodness, mate. Okay, the, that must look... Seems to be stuck in traffic. Um, seems to have had an accident. Oh my goodness, mate. Okay, don't just break harshly like that, man. It's getting living daylights out of me. I'm going to indicate into this lane. Um, so yes, we're expecting an AC Swift, we're expecting the AC Rootmaster, the original RM variant. This bus is quite fast. <laughs> that's, that's why you could probably see the lean as we went into lane two. And this bus is incredibly fast. Um, Somebody's finally getting off. They've been all the way around Gainsborough um, housing estate and they just wanted the other side of the town centre. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, um, the Rootmaster variant is going to um, be, I believe, a payware pack. However, if you head over there and see the screenshots, you will know why. And there's a lot of variants um, coming for that bus. We're going to be having the RM, the RML, and I believe an RMC as well. Pretty much all of the Rootmaster variants that were made are going to be in that, in what is going to be a big, big iconic pack. And it will be the first time um, we've seen an old rear platform bus in OMSI 2 itself. I know that there's a few sort of Russian bus mods and a few others that allow people to jump on at the sort of rear end of the bus and pretty, pretty cool. But I've just realized there's a ticket there. Oh, the ticket doesn't go. Ah, okay. Okay, fair dues. <laughs> the ticket is permanently stuck there. Okay, let's just leave the ticket machine alone as I've messed with ticket machines before and crashed my game. So, um, yeah, the RM is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be supporting that. We'll be looking into it, um, and I will keep you updated with details on that as and when they are worked. It's going to be a bit in the future is that. However, a lot has already been worked on already, so it's definitely progressing at a nice steady pace. We also have the DMS to look forward to as well, as I do always forget that that was never released um, in the public domain. So hopefully in due course that will be released in the public domain. Now we can have all the road lines and things working for London. It will 
create it'll allow us to be able to drive it sort of properly in that i would have driven it um on london probably already but unfortunately um due to my pc visa i have actually lost the vehicle so unfortunately um, that won't be happening for a bit there are a few other exclusives and things um, on the way very soon but unfortunately um, due to that slight setback I haven't been able to do that I did want to do it and I did hint at it until I realised that I no longer had the vehicle so I do apologise for that um, sort of here and now that I haven't been able to do that video so we'll go into stand three and then we'll park the bus up in the place that these park in real life. I've just realised I've got to pull it right forwards because we've got the middle door on this bus. So, okay, 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 okay. We've pretty much ran on time apart from running three minutes early at the end. That is amazing. And there's somebody stayed on the bus. Why? I, I'm not even, you know what? I'm just going to move it round to stand and we'll just park the bus up on stand um and then we will we'll finish it off here so we'll switch off the bus we'll ignore the fact that that seems to do that weird layering thing around the wheel i'm going to ignore that um and we will finish off this video here so there we go, that was Route 2 Round Park Springs utilising the C200 10.8 metre that comes with Add-on London um, on Gainsborough using the superbly made brand new repaint for it by, I want to say, I know who it was by, bear with me, give me a second, um, by, I believe it's um, DK Repaints. Um, and um, it's a CR, um, by the looks of it, made the blinds. All the credits, oops, I've got rid of the screen, oopsie doodles, sorry. Uh, um, all the credits are in the description below, as well as the links to everything that I used in this video, from the repaints, the destination blinds, the bus, and the map itself. So you can go and check all of these out yourselves. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you have questions, share to me in the download. Don't forget to ask me in the comments. This weekend later on um, is going to be seeing the release of a train simulator video. And the reason that this video has replaced the train simulator video that I promised was the fact that with the London hype at the moment and the fact I'm still setting up all the free webs, free skins and things for train sim, that's a big, big task. I've also made the um, settings video as well that I promised um, about my OMSI 2 settings for both London and what I recommend for lower um, sort of and lower spec PCs on maps such as this one that we've just played today. So they're also on their way as well as one of my new real life um, tutorial videos. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.